Okay, in this video we're going to be doing the um, basic setup of the 1203 to USB um, converter and we're going to be connecting to the Kinetic 6000. I'm going to show you how I did the complete setup. So first and foremost, um, and I'll take the uh, driver loose right now, is I go to uh, Device Manager <coughs> and this is very helpful because if you're using a VM, which I am, um, or you're using a, a regular computer with no VM, you still need to know what you're connecting to, right? So it's very important, um, like the ports down here, the COM ports, um, and I'll, I'll plug it in now so you can see. Okay. So you see that it's connected and it's connected to COM port 3. Now I can right click that and change, I believe I can change the port that I'm on. So it's very like these settings right here are very important and I'll show you this in a second. Um, so the driver and everything. So um, if you don't see that by instance you need to like load in your driver and um, then you'll, you should be able to see the 1203 USB. Um, <clears throat> But it's very important to have these settings because you're going to use this stuff in RS links. So, um, and to know what port you're in. So, in classic form, what I like to do, right, is um, 1203 uh, USB, and then I'll put COM3, and then, you know, whatever else. So, um, it's very important for that. So uh, let's open up Arch Links, and I am running this. This particular um, VM is running the uh, 2.9 Links. So um, I set up my DF1 driver, right? So let's look at that real quick. So in um, if I go to configuration, how I set it up is I set, and if you notice. <coughs> the uh, COM port that I set it at matches the COM port that it's communicating to. So say if this COM port said COM4 or COM5 or whatever the case may be, then I need to match this COM port to whatever device manager said or else I'm not going to be able to talk, right? It's not going to talk through the, the right port to talk to the converter. So um, after that, I set the scan. I set the the driver, the DF1 driver, to um, basically the scan port, and then I changed the baud rate to the maximum baud rate. Um, my station number I put at zero. Um, that's just what I put my my dri my computer's driver at. Polarity none. Um, error checking um, is BCC and the stop bits one. Um, the full uh, protocol is full duplex. You can put it in half duplex. I mean, that's just the speed of how it's going to communicate. It's already a serial port anyway, so it's going to be slow. Um, <clears throat> so real quick, let's go ahead and make another one just in case you want to see how that's working. Um, so you come down <clears throat> and you select RS-232 DF1 driver. Um, this will be the second instance where I have one. So I would click that and then make it, right? And then I would go to COM3. I would change this to scan port. I change this to the maximum baud rate. Um, and then again, you can leave this as, it all defaults to zero. So you, if you wanted to change your station number, it doesn't matter. Um, <clears throat> you don't click auto config and then you just hit okay. Um, in my case, if I had two running, it would mess one up. So um, I already have it running. That's how you set the um, the driver up. <clears throat> now, if you're connected already to the um, um, 1203 USB, then it's going to pop up as a AB DPI. Um, so you're not going to see the device you're hooked up to. You're going to see as far as like if you're hooked up to a drive like a PowerFlex or a Kinetics or wherever you're hooked up to you're going to see the actual device, which the device you're hooked up to is the 1203 USB. It's not the um, drive, even though the, the 1203 is hooked up to the drive. 
So, um, so um, for that matter, you can still come in here and, and check all that. So that's how you set that up. Um, make sure you are very um, careful in making sure you have the COM port right uh, that you're connected to, because you know there obviously it's a it's a USB, so it can change at any given time. Or our first one you plug into may be a different one than COM three. It might not match mine, or it might 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 match it. I don't know. Um, I'm not going to say. I just want to verify. I want you to verify that that this COM port matches what you put in RS links for your driver, right? So it doesn't matter if it's four, it doesn't matter if it's five, it doesn't matter if it's six, whatever. Just come down here and change and make sure this matches what you put in there or what it, what it actually is so that it, it can communicate. After that, you should be able to pop up and see it. Um, in this instance, then you should be able to go to drive tools right open up drive tools and uh, drive executive and no matter if it's a power flex or if it's um, any other drive that you're, you're trying to connect to in my case it's a kinetic 6000 so a servo drive <clears throat> which um, there's a, a lot of I guess a lot of speculation if you know I've heard a, a lot of arguments whether you saying you can and can't connect to it you can't do this can't do that but you can do just about as much as you want to with uh, a 1203 USB. So again, just connect to drive. And then you see you have your driver. So in my list of drivers, it matches my links, right? So if I did not have my links in here, uh, if I didn't have my driver set up in my RS links already, then it would not pop up. Um, so in my case, it does show the DPI which is the, the um, AB DPI right here, then I would just hit connect. <clears throat> After I connect, it's going to uh, upload the drive parameters. Um, I've already did this once, so it's going to pop up for me. It's because it already knows what the drive is. But in your case, it may just, it may take a minute or two um, to, you know, upload the driver or upload the uh, parameters. Um, so, you know, just just kind of give a, a quick overview. Um, what you're seeing there now, right now in Drive Tools, is basically the parameter list of the uh, servo drive I have connected, which is a uh, a 2094-BC01-M01, uh, and um, this is all the, the the whole parameter list of that drive. Um, I believe the drive is in demo mode is what I put it in. Um, no, it's in normal mode. Okay, so I'll put it in demo mode. Um, <clears throat> and make sure that stays. So uh, that's so I can run it off 110. And I'll have that video linked below. Because um, as a test rack, I don't want to run it off its normal voltage. I want to run it off 110. So uh, you can run a motor off 110. So uh, this is the, the base setup of what I'm doing, just to kind of let you know. Um, anyway, so what I'm getting at is you do show the parameters. You can show the groups of the parameters, however they are. Um, or you can just go to the whole parameter list and select what you want to, which is primarily what everybody does anyway. So um, you do see the 1203 USB. Um, you can see the configuration of that, uh, the baud rate. Um, you can see the packs is, is talking to and everything. So real quick to kind of go over how things were done. Um, again, device manager is very important to understand where you're connected to. Um, whether it be whatever com you are connected to, you can also right click and see what your uh, bits per second and stuff of that nature is. Notice that, <clears throat> let's see right here. The baud rate, right? So things are starting to kind of match up a little bit, right? Uh, bits per second, uh, this is the baud rate, and then um, polarity is none. Um, so you, you kind of get you know the basic setup of this, and you can go. You, so I can change the 
I can change the port that I want to use, right? But I kind of don't want to do that. I kind of want to be whatever I can select in here, right? So if I can select three, four, five, then I don't want to be, um, yeah, I don't want to be like selecting, um, you know, something that I can't see, right? So um, I definitely don't want to do that. So in that case, you can also restore it from de to defaults and stuff of that nature. So um, not a big deal. Like I said, if you wanted to update your driver, you can update the driver. Um, let's see. Uh -huh, let's see. Browse the computer. <clears throat> Automatically. Yeah, so um, it's most likely going to point to the device. Um, so I won't, now I'm not going to... It should point to the device, so it's the first time you plug it in, it should load the driver in. If by chance it doesn't, then just right-click if it has some kind of um, caution symbols by it and just try to find it. Scan for the device. Um, those are some common things that you're going to see when you're setting this up. Those are not a, not a big deal. Device manager is very critical to using. Um, not critical, I say. I mean, this, it's very important to using the device manager, but... Um, are to using the um, the 1203 USB so just make sure you use that um, and know where you're at know what comp port you're at know what you're set up as if you're not setting it if it's not set up properly you won't see it in your RS links um, but um, and also note that you're not going to see your end device right so with me communicating and you obviously see I am communicating to a, um, a kinetic 6000 drive and I have the have it pulled up. Um, you're not going to see your end device here. You're going to see um, the 1203 USB. So uh, with that said, that's not a concern, right? So if you if you're connected to it and you're talking, and you'll know that by the chance of if you're passing information through, or say for for instance, if <clears throat> you're connected to uh, the drive through drive executive. Then you're going to see the 1203 USB. Uh, there's a a RX and a TX, which is the transmit receive. They should those two lights should be flashing on the 1203 USB. Um, and I am hooked to the top of the um, Kinetic 6000 drive between the um, between the two uh, fiber ports. So where where your um, Cerakote fiber would tie into it. There's a, uh, a a little port right in there. Then that's on the um, power supply module, power, power supply slash servo drive, which is the IMA. Um, R I A I A M. I'm sorry. Um, so just note that you know that's where you plug it up. So it's a serial port connection, and it does plug up there. So um, well, that's just about all that uh, you need. As far as to be successful on uh, being able to see the drive parameters and stuff of that nature and you can do just about anything you want to it I have other videos on this and I'll link below but I uh, you know how to save them how to put them in demo mode um, how to flash them how to flash your 1203 USB um, you know um, so you understand what uh, you know what parameters they are under um, you know what the, the firmware of it is um, looking at the firmware of the uh, kinetics drive as well um, so just note that you can do just about anything you want to with uh, this setup so uh, hopefully that was helpful and uh, you know how to set it up now and you should be good to go as far as um, getting everything running um, again I use the notepad sometimes to remember my setup um, but you can also pull it up on your screen it's always there so just know you use device manager and tie tie the system in, tie RS links in with what device manager says, and it should work. Okay, so if you have any questions, leave them below. Um, uh, suggestions on other videos or maybe something that I, didn't, I wasn't clear about or, or whatever, just, um, just let me know. And uh, I'd be glad to help. So hopefully this was helpful, and uh, thanks again.